it is. All right, we can start our vlog now. Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in for another episode of uh, Lego Lid. You joined me this morning on a couple of little errands. We've just had a uh, customer of mine ring me. Um, she's just relocated to Scotland, which she's got a house by us and a radiator's leaking. So we've come out on the bike because we're booked in at half past one for a service on the bike. So we need to uh, nip round, stop this leak on the, uh, the radiator and uh, then get over to uh, the mighty Preston Bowker BMW Motorrad and uh, get this bad boy serviced. Ah, it's so hot in here. There it is. There it is. So, uh, yeah. So you joined me this morning on a, on a pop-in. And that's what we're doing. We're popping in. We've just dropped some paperwork off at a customer. This is all on there, which will not be... Uh, shown on the old YouTube but some paperwork was delivered to a customer now we're going to go and nip and see this other one fix the leaking radiator hopefully and then we shall uh, get the ball rolling over to Preston Woo! it is a fresh 12 degrees today I've not got the heated grips on yet but they're definitely coming on soon morning sir Oh, so I've literally just got my hand tools with me this morning. Oh, it's fresh. Whew. Just to sort this radiator out. I'm hoping that I can just uh, isolate, isolate, because the boiler is actually booked in for a service next week. So I'm hoping that I can stop the flow of water for now and uh, get it squared away when we're on the service next week. If it needs new valves or anything, I can get them changed. But the priority is stop the water from leaking. So, so that's what we're going to do. Obviously, I'm not going to take you in with me. I don't want to show my customers' houses to people on YouTube, so I'll be knocking you off in a moment, and you'll be joining me on the way out. <laughs> so, just like that. Pow! See you later. Oh, so here we go. Woo! Oops. Yeah. Right. Hello, YouTube. Here we go. We've now finished all the pop-ins, nip-ins, and running rounds, and all that kind of stuff. We are heading to Preston. To get this bad boy service and fair play to them they've already been on the phone saying mr are you still after a uh, courtesy bike i said a yes please so who knows what bike we're gonna get but hopefully we'll get something decent i'd like a 1250 but i'm really not bothered i ain't changing because i like this bike <laughs> so we're gonna uh, the appointment's at half past one i got 45 minutes to haul ass i gotta get there obviously obeying the speed limits at all times so let's uh, let's see what we can find. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we get. Woo! All right here we go. Fifty mile an hour for the next four miles. Well, it feels like a lifetime. I don't even think it's four miles. It's probably two miles. But average speed cameras kicking my ass. We are somewhat up against the time, Kai Bosch. Up against the time, Bosch. Up against the time. We're somewhat up against the time. Here we are, 50 mile an hour, average speed cameras. Every biker's dream. So I'm uh, looking forward to getting the old girl serviced. She hasn't been serviced for 5,000 miles now. For some of you to say, oh, it's not due a service. Well, it's been 18 months uh, since its last service. I did 300 miles last year, and yes, I'm ashamed to say it, 300 miles. Uh, just shocking, absolutely shocking, but the year before is when I did like the 5,000, so I'm, I'm pretty happy with what I've done, and obviously COVID this year has ruined any tours. I'm trying to get out short runs, like doing the videos, and going to BMW Preston to get a service, you know, turning it into a video, turning it into a little day trip out, taking you with me this morning to do a couple of jobs which is why we're chasing our tail but uh, yeah I'm enjoying getting out it's a nice crisp 12 and a half degrees I'm interested to see what we're going to get given I'm kind of hoping it's a 1250 GSA uh, the, the new R18 has been re-released released, re-released re -released. let's have some of them ooh average speed cameras what a bitch 
forgot about them. <laughs> Even after me just telling you. So yeah, uh, I'll, I'll be intrigued to get one again. I mean, I'm even happy with one of the uh, little 350s. Something different, that's what I'm all for. And uh, yeah, take it, we might end up at Not End Calf, go and have some breakfast there. Breakfast at five past one, or what could be close to two o'clock, but you know, bacon butty, something like that. And yes, the weight, the fitness and the weight is uh, is slowly dropping off, slowly, slowly. I am definitely watching what I eat. I've, uh, I've increased my water intake, so that fills me up that little bit more. And instead of going for the crisps and chocolate bars, we've got uh, we've got some of these naked bars that are a little bit healthier than a normal like dairy milk bar. Uh, the crisps, I've just had to stitch my mouth shut, especially when my little boy's got packets of hula hoops and he's like, "Look, daddy!" And you think, "Oh, smash them in." Hopefully you enjoyed the last video where we went to get some gnomes from Wales. I'll, uh, I'll try and put a photo of uh, what we actually picked up because I noticed at the end of the video because it was all bubble wrapped up you never actually got to see what we picked up. So I'll uh, hopefully try and get a photo in of that now. Bosh! And uh, yeah, so getting out more that's the main thing. And the, uh, the new laptop the uh, new to me I should say I'm sure I harped on about it last time the MacBook Pro it's just it's so much easier for editing than Windows Media Player now I know there's people out there that'll be like oh you pay the £300 for the uh, all singing all dancing well this is a this is a hobby you know I've, I've got a mortgage and bills to pay and a wife and child to run so to drop £300 is a is a big tall ask so I'm happy with the uh, Windows, uh, not Windows, with uh, Apple iMovie, iMovie Maker, uh, and the best part is there is so much on YouTube that shows you uh, how to edit the movies, so there's loads of hints and tips and bits like that out there for you, which is absolutely fantastic, it just makes life that little bit easier, you know, if you think, oh, how do I put a picture of a gnome in here, you can... YouTube it or Google it and it uh, people have taken the time out of their lives to show you how to do it alright that's what their channel's based on but it's quite nice that there is that support that community and I know I mentioned last time that I spoke to Apple with regards to the laptop you know it's a it's a seven or eight year old laptop but they still they still want to know about it and they're still happy to help me that to me blew me away and for those of you that are on a HP laptop or a, a different branded laptop to Apple and you're not too sure change the laptop if you're thinking about it just just change it because it's just if you've got an iPhone or an iPad it's like completely different it's so much easier to use you can just pick it up and start straight away makes life that little bit easier oh thank you very much Mr Octavia thank you god I can't wait to have a cup of coffee when I get here Come on, fella. Loads of bikes out today. Come on, fella. Ah, oh, rude. Boo. Boo. Yeah. So yeah, the uh, MacBook Pro, fantastic bit of kit. What I'm going to do tonight is uh, upgrade the software on the Cardo because for some reason we got a dual pack. Hopefully someone will be able to tell me, but we got a dual pack, me and my old fella, and he can say, hey, Cardo, and all this kind of crap, and it, and it works. If I try it, it just it's like she's got a shitty on with me. She just ignores me. It doesn't work at all. So I'm hoping it's just a firmware update and something will work, but I also need to reposition the uh, microphone, not the microphone, the, um, the speakers in the helmet which I hate doing because it's a pain in the bum but need to move them slightly the right ear is perfect the left ear I don't know where that's where that's sending the sound but it ain't sending it in my ear but either that or a bit more mutton deaf in the left ear so that's today's plans 
I do, pal. Here we go, we're almost there. Woohoo! Oh, what? So, how do I get up there now? Damn! Oh, yeah, you have to go to the end, throw a left. Oh, what a pain in the ass. Come on. Ah, oh. well, that's all right. So, instead of going on the left up that slip road there, I'm turning left here, and then should be able to join that slip road and then be where I should be. Uh, okay, all makes sense. I think I can go this way anyway. Come on lights, let me go, let me go, let me go. I've got eight minutes to get there. Mount apartment. Yes, I took the right turn. Woo! Go me! There's a little yellow box here. Look, 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 look. See, see, see. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Yes, there she is, the mighty BMW. Oh, we'll have that before the van, I reckon. Thank you, pal. So here we are, BMW GSA 850, the Rally Edition. Looks quite nice. 20 plate. A glove Fafferage. Half a tank. Thin socket. What's wrong? Oh, you can definitely tell it's an 850. It feels nice though. Bit clunky compared to the, uh, the 1250, uh, 1200. Nice. Little nod over there. Oh, nice little burble from the exhaust. That sounded good. Let's uh, get ourselves comfortable. Well, the speedo is nice and clear. 
and see your speed straight away see your fuel gauge see where we're at the uh, the mode setting for the dyno dynamic and all like that is uh, rain race don't think it's got a quick shifter on speaking of rain here comes Lorraine so let's see if we can get back to sunny Southport before it starts chucking down on me seats a bit firm but actually you got a little bit of a back support it's quite nice you're actually a little bit lower in in the bike oh no no choo choo so let's have a little look hey we've got to go right here actually if i remember if i remember rightly <laughs> No ET grips, no cruise control. Must be the very uh, standard GSA. Nice little indicator on it that tells you when to change up, which is nice. Gear changes are nice and light. Gotta go fishing for that back brake though. Mm -hmm. Fifty GSA. I think mean, that's what the model it is. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what? It's not my GSA. It's a lovely bike, but it ain't my bike. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Do you know what? It's nice. It's rapid. It sounds. It sounds a bit naughty, considering it's an eight fifty. And do you know what? It's more than capable of doing what you want it to. You know, the speed limits are only seventy mile an hour in the UK. And their limits, not targets. Oh, it just sounds naughty. Woo! So what I'll do is I'll find somewhere in a minute. We'll uh, we'll pull over. We'll have a little walk around. See what we think of it. See what you think. Well, here it is. GSA Rally Adventure, or GS Rally Adventure 850. Boom. Nice bit of kit, looks good. Picks up well. A bit more ag agricultural than the uh, the normal GSA that I've got, 16 plate. You can definitely feel heat from the uh, from the engine coming up on your shins and your ankles here. And it's definitely a throaty bike. It's uh, quite nice to have the heat coming up because there's no heated grip so put your hands low get them nice and warm especially when you're wearing summer gloves
just love that sound. I think that's the standard can on it as well. We'll have a look. It's quite happy to dip in. Feels like you do have to get it like up over a pebble to then drop it in, but it does seem to seem to go around corners quite happily. Say what you see. Come on. <laughs> it sounds so good. Hi everybody, thanks very much for watching Lego Lid today. Um, sadly when I did a walk round of the bike, I uh, the battery died and I didn't bring the second battery with me. So my fault, hopefully we'll be able to borrow the F850 again. Um, but it might be a little bit down the line before we get to do that. Thanks very much for sticking with the channel. If you could do us a huge favour and like and subscribe to the channel. Because I've got plenty more content coming out. And I'm enjoying editing all the videos. Hopefully you're enjoying watching them. So thanks very much and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers now. Bye-bye.